video of mine. In today's video, I'm going to be downloading the brand new AMD's Adrenaline drivers. And I'm going to be downloading 24.12.1. Now, I already have 24.10.1 installed. And this had released on the 11th of October. So it's been a couple of month, months rather since this driver has been released. And I've been using this one extens. In fact, I have used this extensively. I made many videos with this. So you can check out all those videos on my video list. But today's video is all about downloading this brand new version. And in this video, I'm going to show you how do you go about doing it. There are a few things that you would need before you get started. The first thing that you would need to do is, oh, by the way, it has um, all the highlights of what this new driver brings about. So it brings a new game support for all these games mentioned here. Apart from that, it also brings about issues uh, that have been fixed and improvements. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link this in the description box. Should you want to take a look at all these things and check out what are the changes that this driver brings about. So what you have to do is just click on this link here, which is the driver link. So you need to download this from this link right here. And it's obviously going to go to your download folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you that I have already downloaded this. So this is the number one step that you've got to do. Apart from this, what you also need to make sure is that when you're installing that driver, you don't have any remnants of the old driver here. Because by default, when you install the previous driver, there is a folder that gets created, which is an AMD folder. So you would need a third party software called DDU Uninstaller to make sure that this removes all remnants of the previous driver so that you don't have any complications when you install the new version, which is 24.12.1. So I'm also going to link this particular uninstallers link in the description box. So all you got to do is download this. Now, when you download this, it's obviously going to, again, go down in your downloads folder. But you have to make sure that it's easily accessible. So one is you can keep it on your desktop. You can create a shortcut or two. Just make sure that you know the path where this is at. So I know that this is currently placed here. So this is the path that I currently have it on. But it might be different on your computer. The bottom line is just make sure that you understand where this is kept because you will need this to make sure that you remove all remnants of the previous driver version. So with that said, now let's finally get into downloading the latest driver. Let's start the whole installation process of the driver. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my Wi-Fi off because I want to make sure that um, none of the updates are running in the background and it does not interfere with what I'm trying to do here. And I would suggest that you do the same. After I've done that, I'm going to go over into the settings. I'm going to click on Windows Update. From Windows Update, I'm going to get into Advanced Options. And in Advanced Options, there'll be an option called Recovery. Make sure you click on that. And when you click on recovery, there'll be an option called advanced startup and restart now. So what you've got to do is click on this restart now button. As soon as you do that, your machine will start in safe mode. So while my computer starts in the safe mode, uh, I'm just going to pause the video here and come back and show you. As soon as your machine loads in safe mode, go over to troubleshoot go over to advanced options and in advanced options you've got to go over to startup settings and click on restart so that's exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to hit on that restart button and your machine will restart now when it restarts you will be greeted with another blue screen what you've got to do is just tap on your screen as soon as you do that you will get a keyboard option here now, maybe my screen is too bright. Uh, let me just reduce my ISO to show you this option. So here we are. You will see this option. So in the startup settings, point number four says enable safe mode. So what you've got to do is you've got to carefully click on that four. So I just clicked on that four and it will make sure that your Windows now restarts safely in safe mode. 
So that's exactly what's happening. Now, during this whole time, the machine will most likely be in portrait mode, not in landscape mode. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is make sure that we uninstall any remnants of the previous driver. So you remember I spoke about the DDU uninstaller. So what you've got to do is just head over to wherever you had the DDU uninstaller downloaded. So I know I had kept it in this particular folder. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to double click here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this DDU uninstaller. Right here. So let's quickly click on the uninstaller. Double click that. And this will open up this page. I'm going to tilt my machine here. And uh, maybe I'll try to show you what this looks like. Just give me one quick second. This may be a little inconvenient. I'm sorry about this. But here, you've got to be a little careful. Because what you've got to do is, you've got to select the GPU. Yeah. And as soon as you select that, you will notice that it automatically detected that I have an AMD GPU. And what you've got to do is hit on this clean and restart option here. So I'm going to do that. And as soon as you do that, it will automatically run the clean and restart. So it takes a bit of a time. And uh, what will happen after the clean and restart process gets over is the system will reboot. So I'm just going to give it some time. Let me quickly forward this section. So as you can see, my machine is now restarting. So what I'm going to do is put in my password and come back right in. Okay, so when you log in again, you will notice that it's no longer in the portrait mode that it was in. So now I've gone back to landscape mode, which is a good thing. So here, as you can see, I no longer have the AMD folder because what we have done right now is deleted that AMD folder using DDU uninstaller. So the AMD folder is gone now. And that's a good thing. Don't be worried that it's been deleted because that's exactly what you wanted to do. Now that the AMD folder is gone, what we've got to, what we've got to do is head over to that driver. So you've got to click on this 24.12.1 driver that you had installed previously. When you double click that, it will ask you to run this file. So just click on yes. And uh, it's going to quickly run this installation process. However, however, <laughs> you're going to run into an error. Do not worry if you see an error, because that is exactly what it was supposed to do. So it says error 182. Just ignore this. What you've got to do is just minimize this or close this. And now come back to your C drive. And you would notice that previously you had used DDU uninstaller to make sure that you removed any remnants of the previous driver, but now you've got an AMD folder back, despite of that error 182. Now this is exactly how it's supposed to go. So you're absolutely fine. Don't worry about it. So now that you have this, it's all good, but there are a few more steps that you need to follow. We are almost there. So now that you have that AMD folder, what we're going to do is just go into device manager. When you go into device manager, maybe my ISO is too bright. Let me just turn that down a bit. Okay, hope this is better. So now when you go into device manager, you would notice display drivers here. Just double click on the Microsoft basic display driver. This right here, double click on it. And from here, just choose driver, go over to update driver and choose the second option, which is browse my computer for drivers. And from here, choose let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Here, you've got to select have disk and click on browse. Now, when you click on browse, remember where the AMD folder was? It was in my C drive. So I'm going to go over to my C drive. I'm going to head into my AMD folder, AMD software installer in 
packages in drivers and here in drivers i'm going to install the display driver when you click on that you will get a folder called wt6a underscore inf click on that and you've got to install this inf file so dot inf just click on that and click on open and click on ok and click oh don't click on next hold on here you've got to make sure that you select the right device so you need to make sure that you select amd radeon tm 780m graphics because that's the integrated gpu that you have make sure that you select this option here if you select any other thing it's not going to work properly and you may have to start from scratch again using ddu uninstaller going into safe mode and all that stuff so make sure you select this version of the driver because lenovo legion goes integrated gpu is the 780m with the tm that is and i'm going to click on next and here just say yes so as soon as you click on that it's going to give you a message saying it's installing drivers let it run for a bit and uh, i'm just going to quickly fast forward here once you're done you will get a message stating that windows has successfully updated your drivers so that's good what i'm going to do is i'm going to close this i'm going to close this now and you can close this window and exit from here as well this is the last step now we are almost there guys now that we have followed all the steps what we're going to do is finally head over to that same amd folder so let's head over there go over to software installer again go over to packages oopsies go over to drivers go over to display go over to the same folder and there will be a folder starting with b4 so make sure you select this folder starting with b4 when you click on that you've got to search for a file called ccc2 underscore install this is the file that you need this is the driver the 24.12.1 driver so click on that and it will ask you do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device then just click yes and here it's going to install the 24.12.1 driver let it run its course do not do anything in between once it's done you will get a complete message here right now it says installing but make sure you wait for it to complete so once you have that complete button here that's when you're done installing the latest driver so wait for it okay so i finally have this completed message here what you've got to do is close what you've got to do is close everything and then just go over to restart so we're going to do a quick restart now all righty i've re-logged back in and now when you go over to amd's adrenaline software let's quickly log into that just skip this because it's going to ask you to set it up again i'm just going to skip it and i'm going to show you the current version so we have successfully installed 24.12.1 at the start of this video the driver version that i had was 24.10.1 which had released on the 11th of october but now i have successfully shown you how to install 24.12.1 which has released on the 27th of 11 2024 so this is the latest version of the adrenaline software and hopefully i intend to check out a lot of games with this driver and uh, give you my kind of uh, take on the performance of um, all the games that i have and uh, all the games that i play with these settings so i'm going to make a lot of videos with how this driver version has positively or negatively impacted the gaming performance on the legion go so hopefully this video has helped you out and um, if you've gotten any value out of it i would greatly appreciate it if you could hit that like and subscribe button i do make videos like this on lenovo legion go 
I make let's play videos, I make gameplay review videos, and even unboxing and review of products and items related to gaming. So if you want to become a part of my community, all you got to do is just hit that like, subscribe button, and also that bell icon in case you want to get notified with all my latest videos. But as far as this video goes, it's a wrap for this one, folks. And if you have any questions about this installation, then please reach out to me via the comment section. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. I'll see you lovely folks in my next video. Until that time, I'll say take care, stay safe, and may God bless you all.